Hey everybody, it's finally here. It's January 1st, 2021. 2020 is over and now we're in the new year. So happy new year. Yeah, happy new year, everybody. Just know that we love you guys so much. We're so excited for this new year and all that God is going to do. And we're so grateful, even though it was such a difficult year last year, we really are so grateful for all that God has done. I wanna share just a few verses with you from Luke chapter four. And uh, Jesus is in the synagogue. He's in Nazareth, his hometown. And he goes into the synagogue and he asks for a scroll. It's from the prophet Isaiah. So what he's about to read was written about 800 years prior to this moment. And here's the passage of scripture that Jesus chooses to read. Mm -hmm. Luke 4, 18, it says, The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free and to proclaim, and here's the line, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And then Jesus rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began by saying to them, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. When Jesus reads this passage of scripture, when he says that it's the year of the Lord's favor, just know this, with Jesus, it's always the year of the Lord's favor. Yeah, every year. Yeah, every year there's sight for the blind, there's freedom for the oppressed, uh, there's freedom from our sin. He came to set the captives free. And so here's kind of the word for today. Today is the beginning of the year of the Lord's favor over your life as you put your trust in Jesus. And so welcome to the year of the Lord's favor. And maybe that really resonates with you. Maybe the word favor is something that you wanna just kind of grasp hold of this year and ask the Lord for. I know for me the past few years, I felt like the Lord has given me a word for that year. And in years past, just recently, that word was more. And it was like, I sort of asked God, well, what do you mean by that? More what? And, and I felt like he kept saying, more of me, more of my Holy Spirit, more of my power, more of my guidance and leading, um, more surrender. And so perhaps for this year, in this, as Chad talked about, every year is the year of the Lord's favor with Jesus, every year. He can do the impossible. Every year he is with you, his peace, his presence, his power, his joy, his love, his faithfulness goes with you, goes before you. And so in this year, maybe the word for you is favor. God, will you give me more favor? Will you give me more favor with others that I might tell others about you? Would you give me more favor with myself in the sense of just responding to you and everything you're asking for me to do? And so as we start this new year, perhaps favor is a word that resonates with your heart. I wanna take a moment and just pray for you. As we think about the Lord Lord's favor, we're thinking about his amazing grace mm -hmm. over our life. Mm -hmm. And I just believe, we believe that this is the year, <laughs> actually another year on our journey with Jesus of his favor and grace over us. And before you pray, babe, I, the word grace, you, you're so right. Favor and grace, it just goes hand in hand. When Chad and I got married, um, because I'm from Scotland, we had a bagpiper, a piper come, and he played in our wedding ceremony. And in fact, in Scotland, um, it's typical for uh, often like the whole bridal party to go before the bride. Well, in our, we got married in Texas, but the piper went in front of me and he piped amazing grace. And there, there is, there, God just has so much favor for you, for us. And so this year, favor and grace, it just, it resonates, I feel like. Yeah, grace goes before us. Yeah, it really does. And so this year we pray that grace and favor goes before you in this year. That even though we're in day one of 2021, that for the next 365 days, his grace and his favor will go before you. Let me pray for you and then I wanna speak a blessing over you. Let's pray together. 
Father, we thank you that your favor and your grace is here for today and it's waiting on us Mm -hmm. tomorrow. I pray that this would be a year of favor over everyone right now who is praying with us. And so in Jesus' name and Holy Spirit, by your power, would you just bring us a fresh wave again of amazing grace? Mm -hmm. And I pray that we would walk in your favor this year, that we would take hold of it, that we would rest in it, that we would trust in who you are. Thank you that you set the captives free, that you give sight to the blind. Thank you that this is the year of grace. This is the year of your favor. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. And may he make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May he lift his countenance upon you. And may he give you his peace. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.